everybody. It's um, tonight is the first new session of the fiddle workshop after the summer holidays, and all of our classes has have been changed around. So this year I will be teaching the beginners. So most of the videos that you will see on my YouTube channel from now will be very very simple. Um, that's just to keep up with the standard of my class. If I find an exciting new tune that's more complicated, I'll put that on as well. But just so you know, um, this is going to be beginner lessons for the next little while. So I'm going to start with a little march called Angus MacLeod. But first of all, I'll just give you an open A for tuning. So if you are a total beginner, normally you would start to tune your open A first and then you would go on to the other strings. So generally the order I do it is A and then the D string and then the G and then lastly the E. And most beginners I know like to use an electronic tuner just to make sure they're right until their ear gets used to the, the sound. What I normally do is get my A in tune and then I'll play the A and the D together. And I'm used to that interval so I'll be able to work out whether the D is um, flat or sharp. Then once those two strings are in tune, then I'd go on to playing the D and the G. And then the A and the E. But don't expect to be able to do that right away. You need to get used to the intervals first. So um, what I'll do is I'll play Angus MacLeod, the little march. I'll play it up to speed and then I'll play it really slow. So it's in A major, so there's three sharps. And that's F sharp, C sharp and G sharp. So here we go. when I was playing it like that I was doing some ornaments with my left hand so little flicky things things like that when I play it slow I won't do any of that at all I'll just play it very slowly and um, so you can get the notes and I'll try and keep the bowing as simple as possible so here we go one two notice with my left hand with the fingers sometimes I'll be curling my hands away that's really just to let you see what finger I'm using generally you wouldn't do that when you were playing you want to be the most efficient with your fingers so the less moving that you can do with your fingers the better so you would just keep them lightly on top of the string and use as small movements as possible so you wouldn't be going like this and this so that's just so that you can see what fingers I'm using. Don't try and copy it. Good luck with that first tune and I'll be back with some more. <laughs> 